Well, we wanted to know how experts come up with recommendations on which schools to consolidate. That's why our reporter Kirsten McBrayer dug into the data and the consultants hired to assess the district. Kirsten, what'd you find out? Bernie, the report is a lot of math and a lot of projections, but anyone involved will tell you it is you the recommendations are not just black and white. Comments like this one on a Grand Junction blog question the study's accuracy. But here's how the man hired to do it explained himself to us last year. I do planning for school districts all over the Western United States. I'm based in Lyons, Colorado. I've done this for about 40 years. And Shannon Bingham's got the publicity to prove it. Tough calls in districts across the country. Anchorage, Provo, Detroit, Bellevue, Washington, and now Grand Junction. It's a complex plan that includes transferring students from schools possibly closing to others in the area. Uh, if we were to do nothing, we would continue into a budgetary environment that a lot of Western school districts are describing as a fiscal cliff. Bingham will tell you it's not easy predicting the future. Everything from babies born, to aging neighborhoods, to low enrollment in part blamed on the pandemic. School administrators say it's all aimed at getting the most bang for the taxpayer buck. Schools are a combination of general education and special education activity. We have quite a few underutilized schools in the district, and most of the schools that we looked at as consolidation candidates have two classes per grade level and were originally built for three classes per grade level. Last year, he told us that the population in the valley will go up over the next five years, but we don't know how much will be school aged. He mentioned a lot of young adults moving to the area, but millennials statistically are less likely to have kids. Children obviously um, respond to change. Um, the good news is that they would be going with their peers, in most cases, from their neighborhoods together to a new destination. A lot of the closures that I've been involved with, a lot of the faculty followed the students. Kirsten McBriar reporting. The Board of Education started their meeting 30 minutes ago. They will be discussing these recommendations. Back to you, Adam. All right, thanks, Kirsten. District 51 says it wants to focus on creating a sustainable district for their students.